okay so um, in this uh, video tutorial we are going to add one person and uh, then we are going to add kind of two two end points and we, we end objects and we are going to make that person walk back and forth okay so we are going to first add a person people walking people and jack okay so we'll add jack then uh, let's go back to local gallery i want simple objects to kind of uh, mark the end shapes i'll go with and cone so that is the cone I'm just going to put it in this end um, tube is uh, this end I'm just going to make the tube little smaller okay and let's move it down a little bit okay and uh, let's see maybe check little bit bigger okay so now the uh, scene setup is kind of done so let's go back here cone properties color blue okay and the tube properties color pink okay some color okay so now uh, we want uh, Jack to kind of back walk back and forth here. So let's put go ahead add a line. Just uh, press the Jack and drag it here. Move forward 0.5 meters. Okay. Let's play. Okay. So so Jack is moving forward 0.5 meters. Okay. Uh, while we add a while statement there and uh, put this statement just jack moving forward into within a while loop let's see what happens so jack is kind of keeping uh, keep on moving and he kind of crosses the uh, tube in front of the tube right you can see he's walking so when he comes here seem to be walking and walking between the camera and the tube okay in between okay so the couple of ways we can fix it because we do want him to walk uh, towards the tube so and then kind of turn back okay so one other thing can do is change the scene setup itself you can right click here methods and say turn to face turn to face the tube that's one way to do it I'm not going to do that instead I'm just going to drag it and add a uh, add a line there as part of the code and I'm going to say that uh, we are going to face the tube probably you may not be able to see but uh, so I am saying Jack let me see whether I can do something here um, okay so turn to face uh, tube okay you can also by the way you can also do something here you can even uh, uh, drag this from here so let me show you the other way uh, so here go for jack methods and turn to face yeah that's probably easier right there it's kind of tricky to place it here um, turn to face the tube okay let's play it now see he turned a little bit right so it's just slightly orientation it changed and uh, yeah so he's walking right through the uh, tube okay in fact you can see it better if the jack turns towards us let's go ahead and turn right you know okay so now jack is clearly turning towards us that's the initial condition so now in the code we have jack turn to face the tube and then uh, he does this let's see what happens see that's very clear now right he's fair turning to face the tube and uh, walking towards the tube 
okay so and he walks th right through it because that's what our code says you know so it's an infinite loop just jack keeps on walking okay so we do want him to stop right here right so what can we do well that's the condition right if jack gets to he can keep walking until he gets too close right um, so right under jack if you click on jack under functions jack's functions and you can see right here that uh, there are two functions right at the top uh, jack is within the threshold of object or jack is at least a threshold away from an object so we want to work uh, we want to do this uh, as long as jack is at jack is at least threshold away from an object so i'm just uh, going to drag this put it as a condition instead of true so i'm going to say one meter uh, away from tube okay if the jack is while jack is at least one meter away from the tube keep doing this okay so let's see what happens he turns he's in the well condition now he's at least one meter away so he keeps move forwarding so now he came too close right so he came too close to tube so he stopped the well condition failed so we stopped right so this is the time we want him to turn around and walk towards the cone so how can we achieve well make a copy make a copy we remember original we want to leave it as a tree so the top is in the original facing the tube and walking so once that walk is over he comes too close to the tube we want him to turn to face cone okay so we want him to turn and face cone and now he is walking towards the cone so while jack is at least one meter away from the cone right so while uh, jack is at least one meter away from the cone he can keep walking right so let's play it again he comes uh, now the first while loop is in action so now he turned to face the cone and the second while loop is in action and he's going to right there he stopped right so now we want this action to continue forever okay so continue forever or continue few times okay so let's put a loop there so loop a uh, couple of times so and move all these things inside you may be wondering you know why the jack is sliding instead of really walking okay don't worry we will cover that too later so far now we are happy with sliding okay sliding type of walking okay without moving the legs really the whole body moves right so loop two times means that he is going to walk here come back walk here come back right let's see I moved the all the statements inside basically drag and drop so usually we for dragging we use that dotted portion okay even the other portion will work as well so we are here now so we are going to enter the loop second time yeah so we are in the top and uh, doing this while loop again turn around and uh, and we are uh, reaching here and the loop will end the outer loop will end now okay because we said two times so let's uh, make it uh, infinite times so one thing you may see time to time i have seen it too is that uh, it may do kind of funny turns you know so i have seen sometimes jack kind of uh, 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 flips too many times or something see see the, this time we see a kind of a bug sometimes i've seen this alice bug too whoa okay that really crashed okay let's see yeah. <laughs> um that's nothing to do with the uh, our program really sometimes i've seen within alice uh, something like some issues do exist okay so yeah i can see it may occur again looks like because the shape changed 
Wow. So he turned somewhere else and walked away. Again, that's something I have seen time to time, such bugs. So don't be alarmed. It's not really our program's problem. Okay. Um, so I hope uh, you understood how we are using the nested loops. So you have an outer loop, which is uh, kind of infinite loop right, right now and uh, then uh, the inside loops we are using inside loops we are really w uh, for walking one way we are using one loop and uh, walking other way we are using one loop okay so this is a good example for uh, a nested loop because there's a loop outside and there's a kind of loop uh, uh, loops inside as well okay thank you